It's rumoured that in 1915, someone on the Brooklyn Dodgers baseball team had the fun idea of dropping a baseball from a plane into their manager's mitt. However, at the very last minute, they decided to drop a grapefruit instead. The manager lifted his hands up to catch what he thought was a baseball and got covered in red grapefruit pulp. He screamed for help, thinking he was bleeding to death. And that is how the Florida Spring Training Baseball League became known as the Grapefruit League. Flying fruit aside, the grapefruit is arguably still one of the most dramatic foods around. You see, most of the citrus fruits we enjoy today come from the citron, pomelo and mandarin, which originated in South and East Asia up to 7 million years ago. But the grapefruit, a hybrid of pomelo and sweet orange, can be traced back to Barbados around the mid-1600s. To this day, no one knows for sure if its creation was accidental or deliberate. Even the origins of its name remain a mystery. One theory is that its taste was once likened to grapes, but there were no grapes in Barbados in the 1600s. Another explanation is that it's because the fruit grows in clusters on trees, like bunches of grapes. It has also been known as the forbidden fruit, but this nickname was actually meant for a similar hybrid growing in Jamaica at the time, possibly the golden orange. Grapefruits were first introduced to Florida 200 years later, Citrus growing bloomed into a multi-million dollar industry in the United States by the mid-20th century, with the Florida grapefruit front and centre. Production increased 14-fold in Florida from 1910 to 1940, and the US is now the world's biggest grapefruit producer. But the grapefruit isn't to everyone's taste. That might be because some people are more sensitive to naringin, the main bitter compound in the grapefruit. People have long sprinkled sugar over their grapefruit to combat its tang, but studies have found that a sprinkle of salt actually blocks the bitterness. So if it's not the taste we like, then what is it about grapefruits that attracts us? Perhaps it's that throughout history, humans have used bitterness to identify plants that have medicinal qualities. The grapefruit has a reputation of being healthy. It's a good source of vitamin C and A. You've probably heard of the ill-advised grapefruit diet, which has been around since the 1930s. A diet solely consisting of grapefruit isn't recommended, but studies have found that a diet containing grapefruit can help with weight loss. The fruit has also been found to lower cholesterol and prevent strokes, and has even found a role in the fight against cancer. Researchers create nanoparticles using grapefruit lipids, which are molecules formed of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen atoms used by the body to store energy to deliver drugs because grapefruits have a lot of lipids. But this is where the grapefruit's darker side comes in. Consuming one grapefruit or glass of grapefruit juice can cause surprisingly dangerous side effects like kidney failure when it's combined with some everyday medications, including some antibiotics and heart medications. This is thanks to its high volume of furanocumarins, which are compounds that block enzymes produced by the small intestines to break down medications in the body. This means grapefruit increases the amount of a drug that gets into the bloodstream. When David Bailey, a scientist in Canada, published his discovery in 2013, he counted 85 medications that were affected by the grapefruit. Now, he says, that number is in the hundreds. David has found that some people won't be affected, but for others, one tablet with a glass of grapefruit juice is the equivalent of taking 10 tablets, and there's no way of knowing ahead of time who's going to be the big responders. Thankfully, a new breed of grapefruit, known as UF914, has been created by scientists for people who are taking medications that react badly with grapefruit. The hybrid, a cross between pomelos and red grapefruit, has a fraction of the levels of furanocumarins. There are hopes that it can be grown commercially soon. But the future of the grapefruit is unknown. Production fell by 90% between 2003 to 2004 and 2017 to 2018, largely thanks to citrus greening disease, which farmers find difficult to control. Thankfully, scientists are working on trees that are resistant to citrus greening. In the meantime, farmers are doing everything they can to mitigate the spread of the disease, including releasing a parasitic wasp native to Pakistan that kills the infection. You didn't think the grapefruit would give up that easily, did you?